Hello lovelies, good morning. Welcome to our Kim Dyes Yarn Trunk Show. Look at all of these pretty pretties. So many beautiful items. So this time, our friend Kim, who lives and dies in Northern Virginia, uh, she has brought us two different yarn bases. This here is her Stroop Waffle DK, which is a blue face luster and silk blend. So you get 55% superwash BFL and 45% silk per 100 gram skein and 231 yards. The DK weight yarn is $35 a hank. And we have them all loaded onto our website, lovelyyarns.com forward slash Kim Dyes Yarn. Just like it says on her label. Kim has been dyeing yarn since 2010. And I actually met Kim at TNNA when it was held in Washington, DC in 2016. And we just became good buddies and I love her yarn and she's just wonderful. And I am very excited to bring these beauties to you at home on your TV or your phone or your iPad, wherever you're watching this YouTube video. <laughs> so besides this Troop Waffle DK, we also have a few different fiber bases for those of you who are spinners and filters. These are wool silk blends. Uh, these, this grouping here, this is a Merino Yak and Silk blend. And then over here, I've got a BFL Tussa Silk blend here. And then the pink, which is called Heart Corners. This is a Polworth and Tussa blend. These two here are Rambouillet, which is like a French Merino. And then all of these over here are Targi. Uh, all the blends that Kim has brought today um, are lovely to spin. The colors are absolutely incredible. If you are a newer spinner, you want to go with something with a longer staple length. So look for something like the BFL, probably a little bit easier to spin than the Rambouillet, but I can tell you from experience that all of Kim's fibers, whatever she dyes, are just delightful to spin. And then next to the Targi, we have all of the sourdough sock and it's many glorious, glorious colorways. The sourdough sock is $30 a hank. And for each skein, you get 100 grams is 400 yards, and it's an 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon blend. So great for socks, garments, shawls, everything. This is a really good, like all purpose yarn. And at $30 a hank, very affordable. Uh, the prices of the fiber range from $22 for the Rambouillet, that's these two here, up to $32 for the Merino Yak and Silk. The Yak and Silk certainly add to the price bump. Uh, the BFL Silk and the Targi are $25, and the Polworth Tessa, that's this one, is $26. Don't forget we have these all listed on our website, lovelyyarns.com forward slash Kim Dyes Yarn. Um, so let's look at, let's look at her sourdough sock here. So we've got quite a few different colorways. Up here on the top, we have uh, black cherry, one of our faves. Next to black cherry is a gray with a rust and blue speckle called Dad's Garage. Then the bright red is cherry. Moving on, this is dark forest, bright sky. Great colorway. I love this with the teal, and black, red, and orange. And then we have uh, Star Stone, which is like a dark charcoal gray. Next to Star Stone is Dandelion. And then we have this really beautiful speckly yarn. This is Mushroom Hunting. This is on a neutral base with uh, some green, mustard, pink, and purple speckles. See down here, look at all those colors. What a great looking colorway. And so when you work this up, you'll have like an all over impression of color. And then next to mushroom hunting is jump into the leaf pile, beautiful autumnal colorway. And if you're hearing other voices on our video, that is Jane upstairs with her learn to knit class this morning. Sounds like they're having a good time. Uh, and then this beautiful neutral here, this is called affection. <laughs> And then that's Jane again. And then next to Affection is Peaches. 
So imagine like a peach skin that's sort of like this neutral tan color with a little bit of pink, maroon, and some orange. And then we have rose water, which is sort of like a mauve base with a little bit of speckling. And then we've got Sunday brunch, which is this pretty bright white that's got like these hot pink, um, orange, uh, blue, and a little bit of brown speckles. And then we have Rembrandt, which is sort of like a, a gray on silver variegated with a little bit of speckling thrown in. And then moving over, this beautiful silver is called Silver Lining, which incidentally also looks nice with the bright forest, dark sky, um, the star stone, and the cherry. Like these all kind of look, oh, and the dandelion. Look how nice that is. So maybe you're doing one of those Stephen West things, which would be like a really nice color grouping. Uh, also a nice color grouping is we have it here with all these blues. Uh, so the blue variegated with the pop of fluorescent pink and yellow. Uh, this is scuba diving. And of course we've got it next to calm waters because certainly when diving, you would be hoping for calm waters. And then we've got speckled robin's egg on top of regular robin's egg. So here they are next to each other. Isn't that pretty? So again, all you West knitters, that's a really nice color combo. Okay, and then oddly enough, so this one is called Cherry Blossom. And this is sort of like a tealy blue, or I guess like a, it's more like a deep aqua. And it's got some pink and brown speckling. And I can only imagine your, um, she was thinking of like a bright, clear blue sky with cherry blossom trees against it. Because it, you know, wouldn't necessarily think of the blue as cherry blossom colorway, but it's very pretty. And then next to the cherry blossom, this dark, dark teal. This one is called Dream Sky, one of my personal faves. And then we've got Copper Penny, which is sort of like a neutral that's got um, some deep teal and chocolatey brown speckling on, sort of like a tarnished penny. And then the bright blue, I guess like a Delft blue, is Amsterdam. And then this very, very dark, uh, this is like a navy. I know it looks sort of purpley. I guess it's sort of like a purpley, sort of like a, like a blue violet. This one is called Starless Night. And then next to Starlet, Starless Night, we have Nest. It's like a neutral gray with some speckles, some like brown natural tone speckling. And then the pale, pale lavender, this one is called Solitude. And finally, next to Solitude, this deeper plum is Plum Struck. This one is Plum Struck. And it's got um, some like tonal, some really dark plum mixed in with a lighter plum. Beautiful colorway. And then moving on, we're gonna do, we'll get to the fiber. I think we'll talk about those colorways last. Um, so now I wanna talk about some of this DK. And this beautiful luster on the yarn comes from the silk. There are some repeated colors on the DK from the fingering. Um, so such as here is Nest. So this is Nest on the DK. Look at that shiny silk, isn't that beautiful? You really see that pop of color with the speckles. Um, and Kim even says like this DK, this DK BFL silk gets really nice plum stitches, excellent stitch definition. And we do have six skeins of each colorway, which is enough to make a sweater for most. And then of course, if you need more than six skeins, we can always contact Kim and she can dye some up for you because she's lovely. And uh, we can certainly place a special order if you need more of a specific colorway. So look, her colors are really consistent. This is the nest on the DK and this is nest on the fingering. And then we've got Hamilton colorway, our helpless satisfied that we've had before that we love, love, love. This is a gray base with mostly violet and aqua speckles. There's a little bit of pink. I love this colorway. I especially love it with the dandelions. I think it makes like a really nice contrast. And yes, I know it's fingering in DK, but you know what? You're knitting, you're crochet, you make your own creative yarn decisions. Go wild, sky's the limit. Why be trapped by convention? <laughs> And then this one is granite. It's like a gray and it has sort of um, like this gray purple variegated streak running through. It's really interesting. 
but it makes for a really beautiful colorway. And yes, more chatter from Jane from upstairs. <laughs> uh, this one is cherry. So, and again, we can take the cherry over to the fingering. See, look, it's so consistent. Ken's such a great colorist. There we go. So colorway is very consistent. And then next to cherry is affection. And then this here, this one is really pretty. This one is called Canyon Camping, which also she has in a fiber base. So this one is Canyon Camping. And this, is it this one? No, it's this one is the Canyon Camping. So here we are at Canyon Camping. Look how beautiful that is. It looks so different on the yarn that's already been spun than it does on the fiber. But the color is definitely the same. Like you can tell that's definitely the same colorway. And then you know when you are spinning your own yarn, it always comes out different. Like it never comes out how the dye work comes out on yarn that's already been spun. So back over here and then below the Canyon Camping, we have this gorgeous rich brown. This is walnut. Um, which also looks nice with Canyon Camping and Affection. See how pretty that is? Look how nice that is. Lovely. And then we have Moody Forest, which I love. Great colorway name, Moody Forest. You can just sort of picture it. Trees overhead, creeping in, dark, creepy, moody, but these beautiful greens and browns and toffees make for a lovely colorway. Um, and actually the Moody Forest goes really nicely with this particular um, colorway. This is Stepping Stones right here on the silk. Look how pretty that is together. Okay, so, but Moody Forest definitely has more green than the Stepping Stones does. And speaking of greens, last but not least, we have this lovely scrumptious braid, Key Lime. And again, the DK weight, you get 231 yards. It's a 5545 Superwash Blueface Luster Silk Blend. Um, and only 35 bucks a hank. And you can see them lovelyyards.com forward slash Kim Dyes Yarn. Now, looking at this fiber, all the fiber braids that Kim has sent us, these are four ounces each and the fibers from different kinds of sheep. So on this wall here, this is all Targi, which drafts beautifully. So beginner spinners out there, this is a great wool for you. Um, as discussed, we have Canyon Camping over here, super smushy, look how nice that is. The Targi is nice for beginners because it does like to stick to itself, makes for easier drafting. Uh, and then next to Canyon Camping, we have some Shenandoah. So uh, we, I did pull some braids that we had in our stock and I put them at trunk show prices. So this is a special that you can get through the end of January only. So we have the beautiful pink Shenandoah. And then we have Roadside Bouquet, which sort of has like a yellow base and those beautiful pinks and blues and browns. And then next to Roadside Bouquet is Mushroom Hunting. And I really love this colorway, so great. And look, so here's the Mushroom Hunting on yarn, next to the Mushroom Hunting on fiber. And then next to the Mushroom Hunting is a new one. This one is Meadow, which is like a white undyed base. And then with a little bit of brown, green, and violet speckle, sort of like a meadow of wildflowers. I love it. We have. Um, four of these braids. So, you know, maybe you could spin up a sweater's worth. And then last of the Targi is this one that's sort of got like a gray purple base with some rainbowing splotches. And this one is Snow's Rainbow. And I've got just one. And then now moving on to the Rambouillet. Rambouillet, like I said, is like a French merino. It has that lofty like merino feel. It's very springy, very soft to the touch, next to skin soft. And it's just beautiful. It has like a really nice uh, crimp to the fiber. And these first two, these are one of a kind colorways. And now when dyers say one of a kind, that doesn't mean there's just one braid because they, we've got two of these. They were dyed at the same time. It just means this is an unrepeatable color. So you get something really special with a one of a kind colorway because no one else will have it unless two different people get the same braid. But I would recommend get them both because then you can work up some bigger projects after you're done spinning.
Alternatively, all of Kim's fibers will felt. Uh, if you are into needle felting, Nuno felting, other forms of wet felting, these will all felt and felt beautifully. Next to the one of a kind colorway, which is like all the autumn colors, like plums, caramels, browns, a little touch of ivory. Next to that, we have last of the wildflowers, which also is like this beautiful, like fall bonfire colorway. It's got some pink in there. So I suppose like when the flat, when the flowers all kind of like go brown, but look how gorgeous that is. I love these colors. I'm living in like this ember zone right now. I'm so into it. Um, and the Rambouillet is really inexpensive. It's only $22 a braid. The Targi is $25 a braid. So also pretty inexpensive. And then we have the Polworth Tussa, which is this gorgeousity. This one is called Heart Corners. And the blend is 60% Polworth, 40% Tessa Silk. Polworth is another kind of a sheep. It's similar to the Merino. Um, the staple length is a little bit longer. It drafts beautifully. The silk gives it a little extra strength. Um, so after you spin it, you, if you are spinning super fine, the silk means you could make socks if you want. Um, but I don't know, my hand spun, I don't, I never want to make hand spun socks. I always want to make like cowls and hats and fingerless mitts, stuff that I can see and touch all the time with my hand spun. Um, also make a really good sweater. However, we only have two braids, so maybe like a crop sweater for you. Unless you spin super fine, you could do some beautiful lace work. So, and this is all like shades of pink, orange, plum. Uh, next to the Polworth, we have BFL Tessa Blend, a 75% blue face luster. These are the sheep with the really cute bluish tinged Roman noses uh, and Tessa Silk. So 75 wool, 25 silk. And this colorway is Purple Mountains Majesty. So you've got like a mountain lake blue, some brown, some earthy browns, foresty greens, and this luscious violets all mixed in the same braid. And we have three of those. And the BFL Silk is $25 a braid. And look how nice it is with the heart corners. You could do some color work because it looks like you get like consistent uh, contrast throughout and make a really nice color work piece. And then of course, last but not least, are all the Merino Yak Silks. This is just, this is like bunnies, like softer than bunnies. It's just crazy soft. I mean, Merino is soft, Silk is soft. The Yak is incredible. It's such a luxury blend. These are $32 the braid. Can you hear everyone laughing upstairs? Um, this one that's got sort of like aqua and cinnamon and like this terracotta and a little bit of leafy green. This one's called Pool Party. Look how lustrous it is. Like you can see that silk luster. You just want to touch it. Um, and then next to Pool Party is Bramble Flowers. And the makeup of these is you get 60% merino, 20% yak, and 20% cultivated silk. So look at that. So cultivated silk, these silkworms were grown for their silk cocoons. Look how pretty it is. So and bramble flowers is sort of like this grayed out aqua with a little bit of grayed out terracotta. Like that, oh, it just makes it so pretty. And you can just see that luster. So shiny, so yummy. There are three of those. And also there are three of stepping stones, which is skipping stones, sorry. Skipping stones, which is our last colorway of the day. Skipping stones is similar to the bramble flowers, but you see where the bramble flowers has more pink tones. Skipping stones definitely is more brown and orange. God, but isn't it gorgeous? Like you should just get all of these, make a sweater. Ugh beautiful or you know nobody says you can't just get it to pet it if you're not a spinner but yet you want some sort of pet that you don't have to feed and sustain like oh this is just so lovely and so beautiful this might be going in my stash 
Just saying. So if you would like to have a real squish, you may come see us here at Lovely Yarns, Monday through Saturday, 11 to 7, Sundays, 11 to 5. But you can always grab a virtual squish online, lovelyyarns.com forward slash Kim Dyes Yarn, where we have all of these beauties listed. You can follow us on Instagram at Lovely Yarns and Lovely Yarns, of course, is all one word with one Y. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and happy stitching!